Hey makers, this is Thruveen and I come up with another step by step tutorial series for Power BI goals. The dedicated series is focused for Power BI beginners as well as intermediate level of users. During this entire episode series, we will be talking about Power BI goals from A to Z. I have divided this entire series into seven different part. So stay tuned till end. In this episode, first of all, I'm going to talk about the overall course outline that I'm going to cover throughout this entire session. With this, during this entire series, we will be talking about what is Power BI goals, what are different type of goals we can create with Power BI. Also, we will be talking about what is manual goals as well as connected goals. We will be talking about different type of permission mechanism for Power BI goals. And at last, we will connect our Power BI goals with Power Automate and we will talk about some known limitation for Power BI goals. So that's the overall session agenda that we are going to cover. Also, one more important announcement. If you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. The Instagram and Twitter IDs are available here or maybe in the description box. So do check it out. So without further delay, let's get started and talk about overall course outline that I'm going to cover throughout this entire series. First of all, let me talk about the overall course outline that I am going to cover throughout this entire journey. First of all, in the first episode, we will be talking about what is Power BI goals and we will be talking about overall course outline. After that, in second episode, we will be talking about how we can get started with Power BI goals by creating the scorecard. We will be talking about manual goals during the second episode. In the third episode, we will be talking about how we can create connected goals into Power BI. These manual goals and connected goals are something which are the different type of goals. In the fourth episode, we will be talking about permission management with Power BI goals. In the fifth episode, we will be talking about how we can get started with Power BI goals and Power Automate. We will be discussing about the integration of Power Automate and goals. In the sixth episode, we will talk about how we can use scorecard visual into Power BI desktop. And in the seventh episode, we will be talking about some known limitation for Power BI goals. So stay tuned till the end. Also, the entire playlist link is available in the description box. Also. In future, if Microsoft release some new update on Power BI goals, I will upload those video into same playlist. So check the description box always for the latest information. So that's the overall session agenda for this entire Power BI goals beginner series. Now let's get started and talk about what do we mean by goals. In order to understand the goals, let me explain you a very simple example. Let's say for an example, currently I have 19,000 subscriber on my YouTube channel and in next month my target is to reach 20,000 subscribers and at the end of 2022 my goal is to complete my 50,000 subscriber. So these are the different goals that I have set for myself. The immediate or short term goal here is to reach up to 20,000 subscriber. And the long term goal is to reach up to 50,000 subscribers. So goal is something which help us to achieve our outcome. And each goal should be celebrated. Whenever you are decide something in order to achieve, you need to celebrate each individual milestone to reach up to that outcome. Now you can consider the another similar example with respect to sales data as well. Let's say at this moment, you are selling 19,000 product. In next month, you are targeting to sell 20,000 product. And in this year, you want to target to sell 50,000 products. So here, the product selling is something which is setting as a goal. Every month, you are tracking your goals that how far you are from your end outcome. 
so this is the overall general definition for goals now let me talk about power bi goals power bi goal is a data driven collaborative and adaptive way to measure the key business matrices and goals so let's say different type of sales goal or any type of hr recruitment goals you can decide for your organization now we always work in the goals in order to achieve the outcome now output and outcome these are two different terms let's say for an example as an employee you are working 9 days on a specific code and what happen here is after the 9 days that code is not useful to everyone meaning that you have put your lot of effort you have put lot of output but you didn't get the outcome that you want to achieve and outcome is something like even if you work for 5 days but that code is useful to 100 people meaning that you achieved your goal and as i earlier mentioned every goal should be celebrated so goal is something like that goal in the power bi is basically allow customers to curate their matrices and track them against key business objective in a single pen this feature is enhances data culture by promoting accountability alignment and visibility for teams and initiatives within the organization now before we get started with power bi goals we need to understand couple of licensing requirement as well basically power bi goals is a pro only feature you need at least minimum pro level license in order to get started with power bi goals now let me try to explain you that thing in a easy manner if you want to author the scorecard goals and performing the different check ins you need minimum pro license for viewing scorecard and goals there are two types of mechanism available either you should have a combination of power bi premium capacity and free users or you should have minimum power bi pro license and microsoft also launched couple of scorecard sample if you wanted to have that you can go with the free licensing as well in short the summary is that minimum pro license is required in order to start with power bi goals so remember that thing now let's get started and talk about the overall screen and how the first look of goals will look like here i am on my machine and here you can see that i have opened power bi service in order to get started with the goals from the left navigation you simply need to click on goals and that will open the screen for you over here you can see these are the different out of the box samples so let's say this is the sales sample and when you click on that it will load the scorecard for the goal and over here you can see the different goals and sub goals added for this scorecard over here you can see that the seven goals are on track one is at risk three are at behind one is overdue and three are completed so this is how this sample goal template is looking like the second section is that you can create your own scorecard as well so in the second episode i am going to talk about how you can create your own scorecard and use connected goals as well as manual goals so we will be talking about this section later on this series after that over here this section is showing us different information like recent goals favorite goals if anyone has shared any scorecard with you it will be appearing over here and under all scorecard it will show all the scorecards to you so that's how the first look of goals is looking like now in the next episode i'm going to talk about how we can create our new scorecard and create manual goals in detail so stay tuned me over there if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for any consultancy training or any type of social media following do follow me on all the links over here also if you are interested for short and hindi content the dedicated channel is here subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well 
with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye